welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i am going to show you how you can import stock data into your python terminal the stock data is basically available in nsindia.com it's a most authentic site uh, from there we, we will use python to extract the data now the python is a great tool for stock analysis because there are so many modules are available in python and it's a uh, machine learning uh, you you can develop a machine learning algorithm and also you can develop ai artificial intelligence to uh, predict the stock data in near future based on your historical data there are so many way you can import stock data into your python terminal but i am going to show you the most easiest and simplest way to import the data here i am using nscpy module NSCPy module is a very very simple module but by using NSCPy we can extract the data for equity cash option and future as well as for indices like nifty bank nifty data in some some few lines of code so let's let's have a look let me open pycharm there are so many id and code editor is available but i generally use pycharm to code let me create a folder called nscpy underscore demo let me create a file under this directory as a python file called nscpy demo now in command prompt let me check all the files and folder let me into the nscpy demo now uh, let me install nscpy that is sudo space pip install nscpy let me the password uh, it's already satisfied because i have already installed it if you don't have it will take a few minutes depend on your network speed let's begin with from nscpy let me import get history and from date time import date now let's take a variable uh, define stock data is equal to get history actually by get history command we will get the history historical data of this particular symbol the symbol is equal to sbin comma and the start date let me define a start date start underscore date is equal to let me take uh, start date as first may that is date 2021 comma 5 comma 1 that is first year month and day and let take the end date as a end underscore date is equal to today that is date dot today now let's the that variable into the place start equal to start date and end equal to end date that means for sbin i am going to print all the equity data from start date to end date now let's print stock data let's save it and run by running uh, the command is python3 or python space file name Now all the data comes from 53 to 528. So it is SVIN equity. The closed data, open, high, low. Everything is furnished here. The volume and delivery volume, deliverable percentage, everything uh, is printed here. Now if I want to change the symbol and uh, it's due for another stock, let me define the symbol is equal to let me take uh, bhel that is b h e l and rename the symbol 
as symbol let's save it let's check whether the veils data is coming or not it's working nicely look at the, the symbol is veil and all the data related to veil is here now from all the data I want to print only close now how do you do that let's third bracket close let's compile now only close data with respect to date is here in this way we can access any other column for our need now if if I want to get the future data for that particular symbol and how do you do that just you have to add only one command that is future equal to true and of course the expiry date because it's all related to the future so expiry date is equal to let me take the expiry date as a variable exp underscore date is equal to let me take the expiry date of June that is 2021 comma 6 comma 24 now let's take the variable as the expiry date exp underscore date that's done and now erase this let me run run this yeah so the future data is coming look at the symbol veil expiry date 6 24 and everything every data related to the future is coming open interest change in open interest everything now you can access any any column by like the previous command now we are going to show how to get the option data for any symbol so let me take the symbol as SVIN now let's rename the variable as stock underscore option now the command will be changed like this future equal to true won't be here because it is option now we will to take option type that is whether it is call or put and strike price strike price let me take 400 for SBIN now that's done look at the data the symbol SBIN and the expiry date 6 24 it's a call type and uh, 400 strike price everything is here every data open interest change in open interest everything there are some columns it's not showing here to show all the columns you need to write stock option dot columns it will give all the column name now from here if if I want to access uh, any of the columns like uh, open interest just copy the open interest now here under third bracket paste it to show only the column uh, open interest data for SBIN let me check the open interest only is showing with respect to date till now we import the data for stock future and option now let me hide this part let's uh, do it for index uh, let's take the nifty underscore data for nifty 50 is equal to get history the same command symbol is equal to here nifty 50 comma start equal to start date and 
end equal to end date and here one more la command is index equal to true as it is a index data let me print print nifty data and save and compile now here all the data related to nifty 50 it's basically the spot data the spot price open high low close and volume everything now for future data just rename the variable as nifty underscore future let me add future equal to true and expiry date let me take the expiry date of June now let's rename the variable as future let's save it and compile it oh, there is a problem let me check the code this expiry date is ok oh there is a problem in name symbol only nifty for future we have to take the nifty as a symbol now let's rerun the program here all the data related to the nifty future is printing a symbol nifty and expiry 624 open high low close now for the option data for the index how do you do that let me rename the variable as nifty underscore option let me erase the future equal to true because it is the option data it's not future and let me add two variables like option type that means uh, whether it is a call or put and strike price that is strike price equal to let me take 15500 let's rename option let's run it it's uh, showing the call option nifty 624 expiry it's 15500 call option price everything is here open interest change in open interest now if I want to have the missing columns that mean all the column name it will show me all the column names now if I want to get the put data for the same uh, strike price just rename the option type as put option and run here all the data of 15500 put now if I want to access the data for VIX, India VIX, then how do you do that? Let me take the variable as VIX equal to, now the symbol will be India VIX, that is INDIA VIX and there, there will be no strike price and option type and no expiry date. let me rename the variable as fix let's run now here all the data related to fix from 53 to 528 now if I want to have the data for bank nifty how do you do that just replace the symbol as 
bank nifty and it's it's okay everything is fine now let's run now all bank nifty data from 53 to 528 is here now let me hide this if if i want to access the expiry date if if i don't know the expiry date actually expiry date of the month then how do you find the expiry date so to do that we have to import from nscpy.derivatives import get expiry date it will give us the expiry date for a particular year and a particular month let's check the symbol let's take expiry underscore date is equal to get expiry date now first year equal to let's take 2021 and month as let's take 6 now print expiry date it will print all the expiry date in June now there are 4 expiry date in June that is 17, 10, 3 and 24 4 expiry date are not in a order so we need to have a order date then how do you do that just use, use the command sorted it will sort the expiry date let me run this now it is sorted at the first 3 10 17 and 24 if I want to have the descending order then how do you do that just include comma reverse is equal to true it will reverse the date and it will be descending date so it is there 24 17 10 and 3 now if i want to access the monthly expiry date only then you have to take only first date that is zero third bracket zero it will print the monthly expiry date in this way you can access the whole site nseindia.com into your python terminal and access all the all the data and manipulate it and you can easily find out the best stock to trade on for documentation there is a site called nscpy.xyz you can find all the documentation related to this module anyway thanks for watching me hope you will be with me please subscribe my channel and please like and share as much as you can thank you